The Rainbow Wahine summer vacation started off with what coaches and players described as a trip of a lifetime. It was one of the most exhausting and yet exciting trips I think I've ever been on. The Wahine visited four countries, nine cities, and participated in six matches against professional and national teams in UH's first foreign trip in 15 years. We were in Italy, Slovenia, Czech Republic, Austria. It was lots of walking, um, lots of bus rides, long plane rides. Um, but you know, we all kind of took it with a grain of salt and we all bonded together. The trip began with what head coach Dave Shoji called a humbling moment in a pair of matches with the Italian and Slovenian national teams. It's just big physical women coming at you with tough serves. And uh, so we, we kind of had an eye opener. Hey, uh, we're not very good, you know, at an international level. And some of the girls were like, well, I need to really get stronger and look at, you know, I want to be that kind of player. So that was a really good eye opener about the level of competition in Europe. The trip was also an educational experience, exposing the team to many different cultural practices and historical landmarks, such as the gondolas of Venice and the Cathedral of St. Mary. It was nice. It was like we were experiencing something totally new with each other. And so it kind of brought us a little closer. We had to depend on each other for a few different things. So that was very, that was very cool. In the end, the team left with unforgettable memories and a few new words to add to their vocabulary. Ciao. <laughs> Every single time we saw someone, it was ciao. Um, even in countries that didn't use ciao, it was ciao. Went to Slovenia, they didn't say ciao, we said ciao. I think I learned the word for beer uh, in four different languages, but <laughs> no, I don't. let's not go there. <laughs>